The thematic areas reviewed include democracy and political governance, economic governance and management, corporate governance and sustainable socio-economic development. After the review, which lasted for a month, the team praised the country for identified good practices. We want first to mention the development of rail infrastructure in the country, aimed at efficient transportation of people, goods and services. The successful implementation of the oil sector, successful implementation of the oil sector reforms to ensure transparency and accountability, the establishment of a Treasury single account, TSA, which has significantly addressed fiscal consolidation challenges. Girls and Women Initiative in Nigeria, GGWIN program aimed at narrowing gender gap. Establishment of Nigerian Women's Trust Fund to support women participation in politics. Expansion of the provision of legal aid to vulnerable and poor people in the country. Strong partnership and coordination that has led to the commendable management of refugees and IDPs in Nigeria. However, the review team also identified a lot of bad practices and challenges. Against this background, the country review team also identified some challenges facing Nigeria, most of which are being addressed, but we believe more efforts are still needed for optimal results. These challenges include insecurity, violent conflicts and civil unrest in the country, which continue to impact negatively on socio-economic development. Even though the country is undertaking credible efforts, including the creation of, of the appropriate institutions to find, fight corruption, the vice the perception is so there that the vice continues to be a challenge. The high unemployment rate in the country affecting particularly the youth, even though a significant number of them are skilled. The closure of land borders with neighboring countries, which is concerning, especially in the wake of the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area, of which Nigeria, under the leadership of His Excellency President Buhari, is a champion. In addition, gender-related violence and early child marriage deserve more attention to accompany the newly passed legislation. Also, despite the adoption of relevant legislation, the exclusion of persons living with disabilities remains a challenge. To alleviate this challenge, we look forward to a timely and full implementation of this new provision. The late and timely and sometimes non-payment of pensions continues to be a serious challenge and, if not unchecked, might become a humanitarian issue. And lastly, we encourage added support to the ongoing efforts to increase the capacity of the national statistical services to enable them to produce more credible data vital to national planning and policy making. While receiving the report on behalf of President Muhammad Buhari, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, assured the team that the government would begin to address the challenges raised in the report without delay. Just to assure you that uh, we truly appreciate all the sacrifices you and your team have made to ensure that we bring uh, uh, to some uh, fruitful uh, conclusion uh, this exercise and uh, we await the formal presentation of the report that we will validate and respond uh, because uh, looking at the areas that you have mentioned, we have taken some steps in even that direction. Uh, we will be able to respond and, uh, and, uh, and, and update you as to some of the things that um, we are doing uh, to ensure that uh, 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 as much as possible uh, those challenges are overcome uh, for the good of our people. The team says the impact of the completion of the review will inspire other African countries, particularly ECOWAS, to embark on a similar exercise.